We got Legos Junior's Quest. This was just a childhood game for everyone. And if you don't know what it's about, let me show you what you're missing out on. You could already see here that it says that this game was built for older versions of Android. But even though it says that, we could still play the game. The second I heard the background music, I started jamming. You don't even know, this is a whole new definition of vibes. That was basically the little intro, but now we have to pull this door open for the robber and basically just start the game. If you couldn't tell, the robber opened the door. And now the game has officially started. Not quite yet. Now it has. Like every LEGO game, we have to build. And now, we simply just have to rebuild the prison cell again. I got a little confused of how it worked, but then I got it right away. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's like the 1,000th, yay! You've heard in the game so far, and the game just started. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with it. By this part of the game, you just have to drive in a row and get some coins and just get to your next destination. And, uh, you know, we got like some subway surfers type of stuff right here, and uh, it's pretty cool to be honest. By this point of the game, you will find Lloyd from Lego Ninjago. I know it's really random, but other than that, you'll ask this young lady for the robber. And she says no, a car passes by and honks, and then her cat just runs away. So you get the point of the game, so you just have to drive, you have to solve problems, and um, yeah. Obviously, this nice policeman tells the girl that she will recover her cat and obviously I decided to finish the game. I'm gonna fast forward for you guys so that this video isn't an hour long. I stopped the time lapse by this point of the game to mention how strong this policeman is. He just picked up his car with a girl on it carrying a air thing. Anyways, back to the time lapse.
now this is basically the last chase so now we got the policeman now he's chasing the robber after we chase the robber we basically finish the game So we finally arrested the robber, but we're not even done. There's just a bunch of additional features in the game, so I'm going to time lapse yet again. Guys, we finally beat the game. Actually, no we didn't. There's another scene after this. Because I collected all the Lloyds from N Lego Ninjago, I have another part of the game to do. I'm just going to stop the gameplay here because it's just getting like too long and we're just going to hop on the next game. Coming in at number two, we got Lego Scooby-Doo Haunted is so i don't really know what that word is but this game was great yet again and it got deleted i don't know why but let me show you guys what this banger was all about yet again we have the pop-up of made for older versions of android sadly we don't have an insane background music for this one but it's a pretty cool like it's a pretty cool background picture We have the choice to choose between Shaggy, Blonde Guy, Vanessa, and another Vanessa. I forgot all their names except for Shaggy's. Obviously, I picked Shaggy. No one could hesitate between that decision. So in this moment, I just collected a key-like gem that opens a door well, pretty much not a door. It opens this figure right down over here. I thought it was a monster at first, but then I got close to it and then it unlocked it. Here we are yet again where we have to build in a Lego game. There's just no Lego game that doesn't have the build feature and I think it's pretty awesome. By this point, we encounter our first monster. Pretty easy to kill. Untouched. That was easy. Here we go, Scooby-Doo finally has a use in this game, he just broke down the wall.
over here i had a choice to continue or just continue to the next level and like the pro gamer i am i chose to continue and solve this mystery yep our first boss i was a little confused at the start then i got it just a tiny bit i'm gonna be honest it took me a lot of tries to get this guy I thought this was a kid's game. <laughs> that was embarrassing, but this, this is the turn where I unmask this little clown. And just like that, I unmasked a little mummified man. It's a mustache guy. So I almost collected all the snacks and all the gold ones, but there's some that I just couldn't reach. Or I had to do something a little complicated, I guess, to get them. But yeah. For this level, I'm choosing blonde guy. I forgot his name. I think his name's Vermin or something. I'm not kidding. I actually forgot them. I didn't watch Scooby-Doo in ages, but... um. Let's see what this level's about. Oh ho ho, do you see what I see? It's another building zone. It's only to get that that gold one, but it's worth it. You need all the gold, you need all the gold biscuits. In this part, I accidentally fell in this hole. I just kept going though, because I saw that there was biscuits and I was trying to get all the biscuits for this level. I know there's a box right there, but I didn't want to go in that area right away because like I told you guys, I wanted to collect all the biscuits and that's what I'm doing. I just fell in this ginormous hole, but thank goodness there's like a there's an entrance to go back up there. This box hit me. I didn't know it could hurt you because the first time I saw one of those, it managed not to hurt me at all and it just missed me every time it tried to hit me. So I went back up and got the box and yet again, I had a choice to select the next level or continue this one to solve the mystery. And I chose to continue the level. I mean, the second I press continue, I fell back right in this hole, and I just decided to give up. Anyways, coming in at number three, we have Skylanders Creators. This was such a cool game because you could actually create your own Skylanders, and afterwards you could import them into an actual Skylanders game. I never actually tried this, but this seems so cool. You just like import your imaginary Skylander into your game and then you make him play and pretend like he's an actual Skylander. So basically in this game, you could pick between the types of the Skylanders you wanted them to be. And I basically picked a light Sentinel. I don't know what the heck that word is. Probably like light Santa. And um... Well, there you go. He has a trident. He's probably like um, Aquaman or something. So this is how the customization works. You could basically change their torso, their head, their arms, their legs. You can make them into anything you want. You could make them into a human frog, like a human bird. I don't know. Like name it. You could probably do it. For what I'm doing right now, I just went with my imagination and uh, I'm going to just show you guys how it turned out. So this is how it turned out so far. Right now I'm doing the finishing touches where I choose his, his headgear and uh, 
basically his armor where I make him more stronger and it gives him more abilities. You could even change the size of your Skyliner, so if you want him to make him taller, you could make him taller if you want to change the size of his head, you could change that, his upper body, his lower body, you get the point, you can make him as big as you want. And like you see right here, you could also change him color, so if you're not satisfied with the default color you got, you could change it, like I just changed the color of my Skyliner to this one, I think it looks pretty cool right now, so yeah. In this section, you could actually change his name, his voice, and the sounds he makes in the game. I just named my Skylander to Footballer because of the head he's wearing. Now I'm going to change his voice and I'm just going to shut up so you could hear. I am one with the light. I am one with the light. I am one with the light. I am... I am one with pure radiance. And then over here you can see his powers and abilities. But that's basically the game guys. I think it's pretty cool. I just created my own Skylander. You know it was a cool little feature when it was uploaded. But now even if I, I, even if I still have the game I can't really do much with it. Because back then you could actually make shirts. And you could actually make figurines with the Skylanders you made. Right there where the arrow is. But it, that feature got removed in 2017 when the game was published and a year later the game got deleted because I think they thought there was like no point to having the game out. But to be honest they should have they kept this game published. At number 4 we got Cars As Fast As Lightning. That's the name of it. To be honest I don't know a single thing. I don't remember a single thing about this game. So let's just hop in right into the gameplay. So basically as what I'm reading on Wikipedia, this game got released October 9th, 2014 and it got deleted late 2016 like I wrote down um, a year before Cars 3 was released. So that's pretty interesting. I mean this game looks pretty dope so say, far. Being a Piston Cup race car is pretty great. I've gotten to see the whole world. But on my last trip, I started thinking, wouldn't it be cool if the world got to see how great Radiator Springs is? And that gave me an idea. Dad, gum, you won again. What's that like the one trillionth time? <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, that's my lucky number. Let I'm faster than fast, quicker than quick. I am lightning. That's the intro. Pretty cool intro. Now Mater and Lightning McQueen are about to race. Man, I'm betting on Mater, bro. Mater's going to win. I got this. Tap the pedal when you're over the blue circle for a boost. Lightning's ready. Dang it! Make it look easy. Lost a bit, bro. Well, that was basically the game. The second intro of the game. Uh, it was pretty cool, you know. You could do like some online little battle that was races. Fun, Mater. Oh. Thanks. Sorry I beat you again. Oh, that's okay, buddy. If I gotta lose, I'm glad it's against you. You sure? But aren't you getting a little tired of racing on the same old track? No, nah, but if you are, we could add some new tricks to it. Come on. Oh, check out this here crazy loop. 
Yo, now we're adding some obstacles to the race. So it's going to be a little bit more challenging for Mater and Lightning McQueen. Let's see how it goes. No problem. I can do this with my eyes closed. That was a pretty fast, cool, and awesome little race. But now, I think you guys get the point of the game. It's, it's just a bunch of races, and um, we're about to do another race, but I'm just going to skip the races so we could get to the next games. But yeah, once again, this game should have stayed on the App Store. Coming in at number 5, we don't have a number 5, so now we all cry. <laughs> No, it's because we don't have a number 5 because the number 5 actually doesn't work at all. The game doesn't work at all. No one could play it. Even if I have it, can't play it. So they basically shut down the servers. They shut down. They, they like, deleted the scripts. They didn't delete the scripts, but, you know, they don't want anyone to play. So that's it. No number, no number 5. But other than that, at number 6... We have the grocery game. The grocery game was basically a game about trash packs. And literally everyone around the world and literally every kid knew about these little toys because everyone wanted some. They were literally so famous. For what reason? I don't really know. But even parents knew about them because their kids at least asked them once to have some trash packs. So let me just show you about the game if you don't know what these little toys are. And you'll probably remember if you had some. I've been working on this video for way too long. It's been like three weeks I've been editing. So I'm just not going to talk, make this as fast as possible. And I'm just going to let the clips talk for themselves. That was basically a little summary of the game. There's a bunch of other mini games and you could collect all trash packs from series one to four, I believe. So that's crazy. But finally, at number seven, we have Rabbids 
Big Bang. Rabbids was basically a show that kids would watch to make them laugh and stuff. I used to watch it a lot, but now I'm too grown for that. I don't know if it's actually still a thing, but I hope it is. Well, there it is. Quite an intro, by the way. Um, I'd say like the best intro other than the first one. But here we go. We got uh, different sections, but this is basically like a type of Angry Birds type of game, but with rabbits. Here you could see that I didn't really understand at first, but it came shortly after. There you have it, level 1 beaten, pretty easy. It was basically a little tutorial, but we'll do level 2, let's see what's up. And that was level 2, pretty easy once again. We'll do level 3 and then we'll call it dibs. This video has been long enough already, it's like 20 something minutes long, so... Last level. Well guys, a deal's a deal. I had to end the video here. And it's been long. It's been really long. But I'll do a part two if I get 10 likes. And if you guys let me know in the comments. If you wanted me to do a part two, because I don't actually know if you guys want me to do some more. So let me know in the comments. And if you made it to the end, let me know what, what your favorite game was. Sorry for that stutter. But yeah, this was a whole experience and this unlocked tons of memories in my head. So thanks you guys for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one.